Host Neil Johnson, so excited to be with you and so excited to share this news with you. It appears that sanity is prevailing. I kid you not, sanity is prevailing. I, I'm excited. Not. Sanity Whoop. is prevailing. And I'll just hit that in the back. I Look, I sometimes I can't believe that we even have to call this a win these days, but uh, with all the decisions we've seen go wrong, this is a big one. Um, so we've got something going on here in Idaho again. Now, I did a stream earlier today on Idaho, and people, if you missed it, that was the most informative and best stream that has probably ever happened on Lumberjack Logic. You have got to go watch it. I did it live out here in New Hampshire. Um, I just want to warn you, if you do go back to listen to it, the first few minutes are quiet. The mic wasn't adjusted quite right. Don't worry about that. Just crank up the volume, and then about, uh, I don't know, five to five minutes in or so, the volume will fix itself, okay? But people, apparently, the Supreme Court rightly ruled that a lot, uh, 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 Idaho is allowed to enforce its ban on... Now, people, I want to... This headline is from NBC News, okay? So I'm going to read their words. Don't think that I think these words are accurate, Okay. Supreme Court allows Idaho to enforce its ban on gender-affirming care for trans youth. That's how they write it. I mean, because it's... I'm, I'm confused. I, I'm confused. How do you... Like, so does that mean that they say... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not up on all this, okay? So does that mean that if, you know, you're born with... XX chromosomes, they say, oh yeah, you're, <laughs> or if you're born with XY, or if you have, you know, a penis, you're a boy, is this, is this what they're talking about? Is that how they affirm gender? Is that, I, I just don't understand the headline. I, I just don't get the wording here. Um, I'm just confused. Maybe you guys can help me out here. Um, so anyways, um, Duluth, Minnesota is on and New Hampshire is on and Montana is on and St. Augustine, Florida. Please do smash that like and do chat in with where you're from. Good to see y'all on. But this is a big deal, folks, because, you know, if Idaho sets this law, okay, now listen to this. The 2023 law subjects physicians to up to 10 years in prison if they provide hormones, puberty blockers, or other transition-related care to minors. So this out of Washington, I've got another good story too, people, because there's a there's a great thing that just happened in the United States Senate, but just let me get through this first, okay? The Supreme Court is allowing Idaho to enforce its ban on gender-affirming care for transgender youth while lawsuits over the law proceed, reversing lower courts. The justice is ordered Monday and allowed to stay the state to put in place a 2023 law that subjects physicians to up to 10 years in prison. Under the court's order, the two teens who sued to challenge the law will still be able to obtain care. Okay? The court's three liberal justices would have kept the law on hold. Imagine that. Okay? Maine, Carol, you're just north of where I am right now. Sue from Maine. Good to see you on. I'm just uh, out in New Hampshire. Boy, people, we got a great day of filming done. And I'm telling you, you have got to go check out that podcast that I did out here with Tom Murray, Ken Eyring, and Dan Richards. Dan Richard has, Dan Richard, not Richards, but Dan Richard has the greatest case going as a pro se litigant before the New Hampshire Supreme Court. People, it's going to change everything, and Idaho just gave him a boost today. Oh, I forgot to mention, too, got to mention my sponsor, MyPillow. It's at MyPillow.com, promo code Lumberjack for big savings. And I got to tell you, people, the sales over there are phenomenal. I mean, I know a lot of you know, and a bunch of people have ordered, but 800 568 2865 He's doing the $25 spectacular sale. And that's still the $9.50 slide on sandals. It's a ridiculous deal because of a, a mistake from the manufacturer, too many of the one color, whatever. You get the savings, go over and get some. It's a great deal. But listen to this. A federal judge in Idaho had blocked the law in its entirety after determining that it was necessary to do so to protect the teens who are identified under pseudonyms in court papers. Opponents of the law have said it will likely increase suicide rates among teens. People, that's not proven. Actually, the opposite is true. 
uh, other studies are saying the opposite is true. In other words, see, like kids are at this confusing time in their life and they don't know everything and whatever. And, uh, you know, they think I, 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 they're, they're teenagers. They're preteen. My gosh, what do you expect them to know? Do you guys remember when you were that age? Like, what did you know? I mean, you might have known, you know, what sex you were, okay? But you might have been confused about it. I don't know. I mean, a lot of people get into confusion at this age, and especially when you have a society that's pushing it on them, okay? So, this, so that's not true. This is the thing. This is out of NBC News, okay? I'm buying gold and silver from Midas Coal Group, Paul. Gender-affirming care for youth. Listen to this. So I find this interesting. Listen to this. NBC News wants to put this in. Gender affirming care for youth is supported by every major medical organization, including the American Medical Association, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the American Psych Psychiatric Association. What does that tell you about those three organizations? In the chat, I want to see what does that tell you about those three organizations that they approve of this? That's right, the American Medical Association, American Academy of Pediatrics, and American Psychiatric Association. What does that tell you? Uh, Ruth, I think you've got it. Stephanie, interesting point. Okay. Uh, Bonnie from Bad Dad, I got to get up there and go fishing, man. That's good fishing up there. They're brainwashed, Sue says. Okay. Crazy, sick. I mean, you guys have a lot of, a lot of comments flowing through here. The actions of uh, medical professionals define gender dysphoria as severe psychological distress experienced by those whose gender identity differs from their sex assigned at birth. <laughs> That's the mental gymnastics to write a paragraph like that. Does anybody get the mental gymnastics you have to go through to write a paragraph like that? Let me read this again. Medical professionals define gender dysphoria as severe psychological distress experienced by those whose gender identity differs from those their assigned sex at birth. Big money is right. Big money. So this is the thing. All these medical associations, $750,000. K.A. has a great comment. She says, confirms... Well, it's K.A., it's initial, so I'm not sure. It might be a guy, might be a gal, you know. But uh, confirms why I don't trust medical field anymore. I don't either. After all we've seen, I don't trust them at all. I mean, like you would, I don't even know what it would take to get me to go to the hospital right now. I, I, I mean, I would have to be, I mean, it would have to be bad. It would really have to be bad. I, I won't go. And, you know, I just have no interest in it. You know, my health is fine. I take care of myself. I got up this morning here at the hospital or the clinic. I'm sorry, not that. <laughs> I just, I'm on the medical thing. I'm sorry, at the hotel. And I went and hit the, they've got a, an exercise room here. I went and hit the bike for half an hour. I'm going to stay fit, people. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to eat right. And I'm going to do all that. I want nothing to do with hospitals. I don't trust doctors at all anymore. At least 23 states have enacted laws restricting or ban banning gender-affirming medical care for minors, and most of these face states face lawsuits. Well, no kidding. I mean, liberals will always go through these lawsuit things. Somebody super chatted me here, man. I got to get to this. Um, I got to get this super chat up. Here it is. Uh, it says, Aussie Johnny says, I'm going to hit a heart on it for you, Aussie. Keep up the good fight, Neil. We need more patriots like you fighting for the truth. People, you've got to see. I'm serious. Like, if you don't watch anything else I do this week, I don't care. Watch the podcast from earlier today about New Hampshire and Idaho. Like I said, the first few minutes are quiet. Okay, that's fine. Just turn your volume up and then get, and then we fix the mic issue. But man, I am telling you, if you hear what Dan Richards has to say on that podcast, you are going to gain so much hope and you're also going to get so much education, people. It was, it was the best. Those of you who were on the stream earlier today on that podcast, please comment. Please comment. Tell these people. It's not just me saying this. They were, it was phenomenal. Dan Richards brought the info. And uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was amazing. So now let's get on to this next one because I can't read about this anymore because it's out of NBC News and it's just trash. All right. Senator Mike Lee, out of the Gateway Pundit, Senator Mike Lee brings business to a halt in the U.S. Senate 
until Democrats hold impeachment trial for DHS Secretary Mayorkas for deliberately implementing open borders disaster. Now listen to this. Senator Mike Lee on Utah of Utah on Monday promised to halt U.S. Senate business until Democrats hold an impeachment trial for DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. For weeks now, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has refused to hold the Senate trial for DHS Secretary Mayorkas. Listen to this. Can you imagine if the Senate, like let's just say, for example, if the Senate, somebody else super chatted me here, I'll get to it in just a second. But um, can you imagine if the Republicans held up an impeachment trial like this? The, the media would be having a freak out, okay? Dusty Payne said, I love your positive attitude. Dusty, I'm going to give that a heart. Thank you so much. Sometimes it's tough to keep your attitude up in the times we're in. I will comment on that. But constitutional export expert Hans Hans, I'm sorry, Hans von Spakowski recently informed Grant Stitchfield and the Real America Voice audience that holding an impeachment trial is not an option for Democrats. It's their duty according to the U.S. Constitution. Hans said the Senate has a special rule that it put in place a parliamentary rule to handle impeachments. The rule was implemented back in the 1980s. The rule calls for a trial. There is no language in there whatsoever, whatsoever that simply allows a motion to dismiss and a vote on a motion to dismiss. Plus, look, the Constitution says the House votes on whether to impeach a federal official and the Senate then is responsible for holding a trial and determining whether they are guilty or should be acquitted. There's nothing in there about not holding a trial and simply throwing it out. Again, that didn't happen for Donald Trump, folks. So here's what Senator Mike Lee's speech from moments ago said. I mean, this is just new, folks. Senator Mike Lee, Madam President, I rise today to speak in support of my motion to table the Romana Manglanum nomination. My issue with the nominee at hand is not with the nominee at hand. In fact, she's quite well qualified. She passed out of the Judiciary Committee on which I serve with my support, my vote in a committee of 21 to 0. The Senate should be not be processing nominees right now. The Senate should be laser focused instead on preparing for the trial of DHS Secretary Mayorkas, with whom the House impeached in February. Instead of confirming yet another nominee, we should be considering an organizing resolution to set up that trial, which we're constitutionally compelled to conduct. But unfortunately, that's not what we're doing. Instead, Senator Schumer is preparing to enact a nuclear option by tabling the articles of impeachment. For the first time in American history, Senate Democrats want to avoid even examining the evidence presented against Mayorkas. And people, why? Here's the question for you. My audience is smart. Why do you think they are so desperate to ignore the evidence and not hold a trial, not hold a vote on the trial? Why are they so desperate to do this? I'm going to be watching the chat here as I go along. I asked my colleagues, oh, if this motion to table is successful, then with respect to Manglona, we could move to legislative business to consider an organizing resolution for the impeachment trial. I asked my colleagues to support to that end, Madam President. I moved to table the nomination of Ramona Villagamas Manglona and ask for the yeas and nays. Tonight, Senator Lee is holding Democrats accountable and is halting business until Democrats hold the DHS secretary's impeachment trial. So my audience is getting it. Uh, discovery in the trial, the facts coming out, and then the other thing, people, they don't want their vote on record. They know how the majority of Americans feel about this open border right now. And they do not want to have to cast a vote and let their voice be heard. They want the open borders. They don't want you to know they want the open borders. They want to get out there and parade and say, hey, you know what? Um, we're really, you know, the border is a big problem. It's really a big problem. And, it, you know, we're doing all we can. Republicans try to kill that border security deal. But see, the problem is Americans are smart enough now. <clears throat> they've been gaslit so much since 2019 and on. Well, even before that, with saying, you know, the PP tape hoax and the, the uh, you know, Trump derangement syndrome on the media and the uh, the trials and so on. Uh, the, uh, 
what's the Russia collusion hoax and everything. So they know America has been gaslit so long. They're like, hey, we're not buying it anymore. We're not buying that the Republicans were the bad guys in this because we know that you wanted to allow 5,000 border crossings a day still under the rule. And you just wanted to ensure that President Biden had more power, even though he didn't need it because, you know, Trump didn't need it. And so anyway, it's, it's amazing to me, too, that they accuse Trump of wanting to act like a dictator when they continually want to give Biden more power. Smash that like if you would. Uh, let's get this stream out to a few more people. Again, go check out my sponsor, MyPillow, MyPillow.com, promo code Lumberjack. Big savings over there right now, people, the $25 extravaganza and the $9.50 slide sandals. Go get yourself a pair. Mike's loss is your gain. Actually, the company that produced it, they, they worked out a deal there. So anyhow, this is a, this is a big deal because holding these, these senators accountable and to account and holding Mayorkas to account is important. Just like Dan Richards, again, go check out that podcast from earlier today, people. I know it's an hour, but man, you will not. Once Dan Richards gets talking, you will not be bored because Dan Richards brings the heat. So anyways, I want to thank you so much for joining me tonight on this quick stream. I'll be broadcasting throughout. I'll probably try and do another live from the studio out here in New Hampshire. Um, I'll, I'll, I might do a live from the road. We're going to be up in Concord, New Hampshire tomorrow. Um, we're we're working on this documentary out here. Uh, I'm so excited to bring that to you. I will get that give send go up, people, because uh, uh, we do need to raise some more funds for the documentary. But I'm out here filming. I'm doing the work. I mean, and and uh, I'm not going to have as many videos as done, uh, you know, over this uh, this week. But I will do what I can. Okay. I love you all. You're fantastic people. Uh, we. I mean, man. I'm telling you. I brought the gear out here. We got gear gear a plenty. Um, yeah, this was, this was my life. Just so you know, before YouTube, how I do this from iPhones, but I was doing commercials and explainer videos for companies and bio videos for companies and so on. Um, that's, uh, that's what's, uh, uh so this, this documentary is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be very well done. Anyways, I hope you, uh, hope y'all are having a great night. Love y'all. All right. Peace out. Subscribe if you're new.